it's never been more important to stay informed and it's also never been trickier to avoid misinformation. There's so much confusion out there these days. We get it. We're here for you. That's why we bring you someone smarter than us. Dr. Pyle Coley. <laughs> Today is Fact or Fiction Friday, my favorite. So Doc, help us out by saying if these popular beliefs are fact or fiction. I just described what fact or fiction is. Okay. The first one is about the upcoming weekend. Since numbers are looking better, it is safe to have Labor Day parties as long as you practice proper precautions. Is that fact or fiction? So you guys know this is an easy one. This is absolutely fiction. Every single holiday that we have had during this pandemic has shown that we have a spike after the holidays because of people getting together. And in my opinion, this holiday I think is even going to be worse for a few reasons. The first is that this disease has shifted into a younger population. So now there's more likely to be those silent spreaders out there. The second is that our kids are in school. And if we want to keep them in school, we really, really have to be careful this holiday. And then the third reason we've talked about before is that the flu season is coming as we head into fall COVID activity is going to go up so we have to be extra careful make sure we're not part of the problem but part of the solution stay patriotic stay at home y'all well here's the next one COVID-19 <laughs> can affect your heart even if you did not have symptoms Mm, this is a fact and this is a really scary fact I'm sure for people to hear and even for me as a cardiologist it's a pretty scary fact to think about. So there was a study that came out in JAMA Cardiology that looked at 100 patients that had mild or no symptoms and checked out an MRI on their heart about two months after their initial infection and what they saw was that 60% of them had signs of active inflammation in the heart even two months after their infection and just yesterday the Big Ten actually announced that 15% of their athletes are showing signs of myocarditis or inflammation of the heart Whoa. muscle based on their cardiac MRI and many of them you guys had no symptoms at all or very few symptoms with the initial infection so this scares me a lot we don't know what the implications are is this permanent is this going to cause damage is this something that goes away does this happen with other viruses these are all questions we're still waiting to answer but certainly a scary finding that heart connection makes me so worried because you don't know the results later on in life and people without symptoms think they're fine. That just worries me. Uh, all right, our last one says the leading COVID-19 vaccine uses a new technology that will permanently change your DNA. What? Mm. <laughs> This is a fiction, but it's been showing up on social media a lot. So the new vaccine does use a new technology. It's called messenger RNA, and it's basically taking the viral genetic code, the blueprint for the spike protein of the virus and injecting it into the host. Then the host's body actually makes that viral protein so that the immune system learns to recognize it and fight it. But the misconception part is that that DNA, that genetic material does not incorporate into the host genome. So you, it's not gonna genetically alter you. It's not going to cause any long-term genetic alterations. That's all sci-fi movie type stuff. That's not actually reality. I'm not going to like turn with like turn into a different human being. No, I'll be fine. Okay, that makes me feel better. All right. Well, thank you so you much won't for coming, redhead. I know. Actually, redheads they seemingly have a great time. Thank you so much, doctor. We'll see you next week. If you have a question about coronavirus you want answered by Dr. Coley, write us on social media. You can also email info at dailyblastlive.com. Appreciate that so much. Please spread the word, fact and fiction. It's important to get the right information out there. We'll be right back.